All right, I'm going to go through putting together two GoPro Hero 12 with a Max Lens Mod 2.0 files in Mystica Boutique to get a 3D VR180 file. So the first thing I had to do was open Mystica Config Tool and set up a preset for dual GoPros. Uh, this is the settings I use, a resolution I used, and an aspect ratio, and I think I had enter in the frame rate also and everything else is just left to the default and then save it as a preset then you're good to open up mystica boutique and if you have a edu email address you can get uh one year for free on this get the educational version So first thing you do in here is go to media and find your files, desktop, this one, nope, nope, here we go. So these are my premier export files. So I've already gone through, made them the exact same length, make sure they're perfectly aligned um, from their start time based on a uh, time code that I show from a QR code on a GoPro site. I think I've showed that in another video. Um, I'll link to that in the description. So you right-click the file, import. I always do the left eye first. Link is progressive sequence. Click OK if you get that pop-up. I think these files have been used before. That's why that pop-up showed. And then we'll right click I2. So usually I just drag it on for I2. Link is progressive sequence. And then I just align them. You can highlight them. And I don't know if it's actually highlighting both of them or just one of them. Let's see. It is highlighting both of them. Go to FX and do VR stitch and then we can double click on that red bar and then let's see what we want to do first is add a camera so there's only one camera and we'll click on camera one down here and if set the stereo I to left and then we'll minimize that open up camera two do stereo I right and let's do side by side 180 and usually here i just verify that i have the eyes the right direction so you can see a little bit of the lens on the inside of each one of these that's a good way to know that you've got the left and the right eye correct if uh, that black mark was on the other sides maybe opposites so what we want to do next let's go to left view we'll click show one input hold down the alt key and drag this yellow circle in. It's right there. Turn it off, show one input. Let's go back to VR 180 side by side. Next thing we want to do is, and, and by the way, if you have like multiple menus open here, there's no scrolling unless you hold the right mouse button and drag. So we want to go to Camera defaults. And focal length. We want to bring that down. This you can use the mouse wheel. And if you hold down, I think Alt, it does smaller amounts as you scroll with your wheel. And I usually do right around 5.9, I think, is where the GoPro should be at. So you really should watch Hugh's video if you want. Or description on this because I don't know how to deal with the K1, K2, and K3 that he shows. I just, I don't see the distortion. I'm not trained to see it. I don't understand it. All right. Next, we'll go to black and white. And I'm assuming, I don't remember if by default that was checked or not, but if it isn't, it's going to look like that and you need to make sure it's set on 3D mode. And I'm going to zoom in a little here. What we want to do is pick the middle point and adjust the horizontal. 
which is under options, I believe, horizontal balance. So I'm looking at the center point and you can see this blue here as I mouse wheel on this, it's getting closer and closer to being in alignment. I'd say right there is aligned horizontal and we'll choose camera two and drag up bring whoops I don't know why it's not dragging maybe I meant to do camera two let's see nothing's dragging Oh shoot, you gotta turn on alignment mode down here. All right, well, select camera two. There we go, so it's aligned in the center here. Next we wanna go back to options, back to horizontal balance, and we wanna be looking on the right side. Do the same thing again. I'm just going by this picture here on the wall. Right there looks aligned. I'm going to choose camera two and drag. Till it's aligned. Then we'll go back to horizontal balance again and be looking on the left side, which is going to be a little tricky here because there's nothing on the wall. I guess I'm going by the trim here. Choose camera two. I think that's about as good as I can get on that. And then we go back to options and horizontal balance one more time and do the center again. And I usually put on 3D glasses. Check how it looks. I could put a link to those. They're pretty cheap on Amazon. Um, the ones I have actually work. There are some other brands that I think are just like not the right colors and don't work well. From here though, if everything looks good, you should be good to go to export so i think we press escape yep press escape we'll go to output give it a name you can double check your resolution here make sure it's side by side mode if it isn't i think you go to setup oh oh video setup and make sure it's set to side by side here. It's like I did it once and it hasn't made me do it again since. So, and from there, let's see. Everything else seems to look good. We'll render. Render start in the foreground. Oh, you can't have spaces in the file name. Foreground render. And that's it. So once it's done, once it's done exporting, I my preferred way to like test the files and make sure they look good is using Skybox VR player, which I install on my Quest 3 headset. Um, and then all I have to do is drag the file into the folder I have set up here. And then Skybox is set up to stream or make this folder available on my network. So I'll do a quick um, sample.
recording for my headset and um i think i'll call that complete thanks for watching here's skybox skybox go to air screen search device And there's a video.